a lot of ups and downs where you kind of have a career day so far at South Carolina. What do you take from that? How much do you look at your individual accomplishments versus the outcome as a team? Uh, you know, with my individual, like, comp, with me, myself, you know, um, I hold myself to a higher standard, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, I, I had a day, but at the end of the day, it's like, you know, we didn't win a game, and that's the that's my my goal overall, you know what I mean? Um, as a self, I feel like I did great, but, you know, I'd rather come, come, come with an outcome, with a great outcome, than me have a great day myself. So that's how I say it. What's your overall assessment of this running game a quarter of the way through the season now? And I guess what comes next for you guys? That's not one thing. That's not a thing I'm focused on right now. You know, what I mean, I'm focused on what what can we do and what can we fix as as a team and um, as an offense. You know, what I mean, to you know come out with a victory next week. With with Lenoris going down, obviously that changes things pretty significantly for y'all as an offense. How how do you try to pick him up? Because now he's gotten banged up a couple weeks in a row. What, what's sort of your message? Uh, with that, I feel like um, you know Robbie. Robbie was ready, and um, you know he took a, advantage of his opportunity. Um, you know, as me, as being a veteran, um, you know, just holding Robbie to a high standard, as I do as Lenores as well, and you know, just going back and talking to Lenores and making sure he still had that high confidence in him as well. You know what I mean? And um, he'll come back stronger this week. Rocky, you guys only threw the ball uh, five times in the second half. Did you notice there that LSU was just keying in and knew that you guys were going to run it almost every play? Uh, nah. Um, as I just – one thing about that is protection-wise, um, you know, that's that's the number one thing when, when it came down to it. Um, you know, just – I know they throw a couple blitzes, you know what I mean, whenever we was watching film. And the main thing is just staying poised, you know what I mean, and making sure the offensive line was communicating well with us so we can protect the quarterback. Yeah, Rocky, what's it like playing in a game like that where it's kind of all over the place? You're up big, it's close, there's huge plays, huge penalties. I mean, what's that like for you on the field throughout the course of the game? I feel like with me um, and what I try to do outside of, you know, just myself, but just staying, you know, positive through it all, you know what I mean? Because things like that is going to happen. You know what I mean? That's the life thing outside of football as well. Things going to happen. It's about how you respond to things. So I feel like just staying, staying poised, and you know, and just having that that leader mentality in myself by talking to this offensive line, defense as well. With the second half, how much do you feel like the flow of the offense kind of changed once Lenoris went down and Robbie had to come in? What's kind of your assessment of how all that went? Uh, I don't, I don't think like you know, um, I feel like Robbie was ready for the moment. Um, I, I want to say just because Lenore's was out, it was a change, you know what I mean? Um, like I said, Robbie was ready, you know what I mean? That's how I feel about that. And, um, you know, like I said, I'm just going to hold both of them to a high standard. And, you know, with me being a veteran, you know what I mean, running back at that, uh, try to learn more stuff um, on a pa pass pro protection-wise so, so we can come back better. You've been close several times this year on breaking the big one, but today you finally did break the big one. What did you see on that one? Uh, I feel like patience, you know what I mean? Patience and the key thing as a running back and just the offense as well, uh, I feel like just knowing you're down a distance, you know what I mean? And um, it was third down, correct? I think it was third down on that play. Um, I know it was what, third and, sh third and it was, yeah, th third and short at that. And um, the way they was going to do that, you know, they, I feel like they knew it was going to run that, run run the ball. So I feel like they loaded a box. So my main thing was just being, being patient and knowing the leverage of the defensive end. So I feel like that was, that was why I hit that and made a big run on that. And in that first drive of the entire game, I mean, you and Lenoris, both you guys were running the ball really, really well. What kind of went right in a series like that where you were able to sustain multiple plays of being able to get some push on the line and being able to move the ball? Um, I feel like uh, with me talking, you know, in the huddle here and there, and just saying that, you know, we got it and keeping keeping them guys poised, you know, and um, just letting Lenore just be confident, be yourself, you know what I mean? He know what he's capable of, and I feel like I know what I'm capable of. Just about having that confidence and going out there with a lot of poise. Can you take us through that uh, last drive there? I think you guys ran the ball twice before kicking the field goal. Coach Beamer was talking about that. That was kind of tough for him in a spot of not knowing, hey, do I run it one more time or do we just go for the field goal? And he ended up going for the field goal. What, can you take us through that from the player's point of view? Um, I, feel, uh, I feel like for a player's point of view, I feel like when me, I feel like um, the run that I, I had before the field goal, I feel like 
I should have ran that as a, a real run. I don't really think that I pressed it how I wanted to. You know what I mean? Um, my eyes was everywhere on that. So I feel like that was that was on me. You know what I mean? And, you know, just still following the point no matter what. That's what I need to do next time. And I feel like that was on me uh, with that run because I ain't pressed the press it how I supposed to. Yeah, thank y'all.